A Missouri lawmaker is proposing to potentially increase funding for the Kansas City, Missouri Police Department. You'll remember this comes after Mayor Quentin Lucas and the City Council passed two ordinances last spring to reallocate $42 million of KCPD's budget. That money would have gone into a separate community services and prevention fund, which KCPD could negotiate how to use with the city. Mayor Lucas said the move would help increase accountability for KCPD. Since then, a judge ruled the move violated Missouri state law. As KSHB 41 News reporter Emma James explains, one local lawmaker has his own idea on how to increase funding for the department. The last thing that we need to be doing is taking $43 million away from the police department. State Senator Tony Luke DeMeyer, a Republican who represents Platt and Buchanan counties, will pre-file a bill Wednesday to increase the minimum amount the city's required to fund KCPD. Currently, state law requires the city to use a minimum of 20% of its general revenue to fund the department. The city gave KCPD 25% until the ordinance passed by city council to lower it back to 20% and move that money into a separate fund. Luke DeMeyer calls this defunding the police department and says a 25% minimum better reflects modern day needs of KCPD. Inflation is way more than 5%, so I think this is a fairly modest increase. You know, but the department is called upon to do a whole host of different things that were not necessarily part of their role in, in the 1930s. Senator Luke DeMeyer says he believes in the past there have been games played within the city when it comes to funding. He tells me his bill would better clarify what constitutes general revenue. Third District City Council Councilwoman Melissa Robinson calls the bill unfortunate and a step in the wrong direction. And if we are the one of the top cities in the nation as it relates to homicide. On what planet do we continue to double down and to continue to increase funding when we're not getting the outcomes and the results that we need? I asked the councilwoman about Luke DeMeyer's argument that KCPD's funding should reflect more modern day needs. Local residents should have some direction and say regarding the outcomes that they're wanting to see as relates to public safety. She also says there's no other police department in Missouri in which the state sets parameters around allocating local taxpayer dollars to public safety. In Kansas City, Emma James, KSHB 41 News. We asked Missouri Governor Mike Parson for his reaction to the proposal and here's his response. What the legislators do is way early when you pre-file bills. I'm always hesitant to what I say, what the end of that looks like at the end of the day. But, uh, you know, anytime you're supporting the Kansas City Police Department, law enforcement in general, I'm very supportive of that. The Kansas City Police Department is controlled by the Board of Police Commissioners. The board's members are selected by the governor and then confirmed by the legislature in addition to the mayor of Kansas City.